Hi everyone and happy Monday! We have a, another planner picture to have a go at which um, is quite detailed but I think will be a lot of fun. Um, I have been asked to do a picture with Chromaflow pencils so I've grabbed my Chromaflows. Now I know quite a few of you will have the larger set um, now because um, when I had this, this was the biggest set that was available. So some of you have more, but that's, um, I'm sure you can cope <laughs> with using less. I'm also missing one because I've used it up. Um, it kept breaking, unfortunately. Occasionally they do. So, uh, um, but that's okay. Most of them are nice and long. So you can see I used them a fair bit. Now, we have a sort of lost ocean picture here with a lot of detail. And I'm sort of just having a look at it and sort of planning really before I start. Now, when I did this in my other Lost Ocean, in my Lost Ocean book, I did it a bit like a porthole with this coloured in wood colours, as if this was looking through a porthole and this was a wood decorated wood outside. Not sure how well it worked, but I'm not going to do that this time. I want to do something different and we'll just see, I think, where we go with it. Um, I, what I won't do is colour every single element on camera because we've got so many repeating elements. So this anchor, you know, it goes, there's so many of them, I can't even count them. So we'll do a sort of section. Um, I'm just looking, we could probably do a bottom corner or something and then... Um, not all of it basically but we'll start here and we'll start with our central part and we'll do all of this so this is like the ship's wheel and i always think that these are wood and brass but i don't know why i've probably watched i don't know it's what i've seen in films i don't have a brass color so would we'll attempt some wood now i i'm going to use this is my sort of mid brown it's called raisin and it's quite red so I'm going to start with this but use it quite lightly now I'm going to go over the whole thing in the same color and then these parts here which I think might be brass I'm actually going to do in black because they're small and difficult or I might just leave them in this the same color as everything else so I'm trying to put this down quite lightly because it's too red for my liking but I want a sort of base colour. So it might have been better for me to have chosen something else, to be honest, but never mind. I haven't actually brought through a hand crank sharpener, which I may need to go and get. Um, these, I find with Derwents, Derwents tend for me to break a little easily. Um, and so, um, not as much as, say, Prismas, though. Um, so I tend to use my dowel sharpener or my Derwent, makes sense as their Derwent, um, sharpener to sharpen them rather than a hand a barrel sharpener just to um, try and preserve them and stop them breaking. But we'll see how we get on. May not need to even sharpen anything yet. So I'm trying to do it lightly. It's not easy to get it neat and light, but hey. Maybe I should be in a bit closer, really. I don't know. You can then see how messy it is. Um, right, that it doesn't matter about it being messy at this stage. We're going to go darker now. So this is the natural brown, which is the nicer brown, in my opinion. And I'm going to go around the edge of the piece. I know it's quite small. To try and um, make it look more rounded, rather than a flat item like that we'll do that on each of these i love these ships wheels imagine if we had a big wheel like this drive our car <laughs> it'd be a bit cumbersome wouldn't it but uh, i think it'd be really fun right and you had to stand up imagine that standing up and turning this heavy wheel i'd feel very important <laughs> maybe i'm just a bit weird <laughs> don't know but anyway uh, but maybe any of you who've actually done it could tell me that maybe it isn't as amazing as it seems. Okay, we're going to do the same with these inner pieces. Just darken those edges. Because they're quite thin. You can't really... Oh, some of them are just... I need to be a bit more careful. If I can. There we go. 
talking too much, that's the problem. <laughs> imagine if someone had told me when I was young that I would be able to get a job where I was paid to talk. <laughs> Although I have done it before, I when I was teaching at um, a university and then I was taught at college, I was being paid to talk. <laughs> but I never used to talk. Until I was about 18 or 19, I didn't talk. I didn't, I was shy. Um, I think on this one, it's going to be a bit flatter. It's not good. See, those I think are rounded, like almost like this. I know this is triangular, but you know, like a rounded piece. Whereas this bit, I think, is might be a flatter piece of wood, but I don't really know. I think I will darken the edges still. We'll just see where that leads us. Yeah, I didn't talk. I I was, I don't know, I think partly when you're younger you don't talk to adults because you don't have anything to talk to them about. They're talking about, oh, you know, you know I saw blah blah the other day, <gasps> then they said this and their son was doing this and you're like, I don't even know who blah blah is, you know, that sort of thing when you're young. And then... um. They might start talking about TV shows that you, you can't watch because you've got to go to bed early. Or, um, you know, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. Um, or, I'm not sure. Yeah, basically about people or, or politics or things like that that you don't follow because you aren't old enough to vote. That sort of thing. So it just conversation wasn't always interesting as well. I can do the same on this one, just put a bit around the edge. Um, and then when you get a bit older, I don't know, maybe it just, I don't know if it just becomes more interesting or you feel that you need to join in or quite what it is really. But um, I'm going to get grab the black now. I can't get it out though. Come on black. It's just called black. And I'm going to do the, um, the circular parts. And I'm going to do them quite solid black. So yes, it. Um, I don't quite know what um, what changed. As I say, my confidence grew as well. And uh, now you can't shut me up. So, uh, which is the problem? <laughs> but never mind. Right, and we've got our sort of chain and anchor. So we'll do a little bit of this. Um, I won't do the whole thing because it's just so much. Now, I've only got this really light grey called platinum. I would really prefer to have a, a grey that was sort of in between um, the black and the this because it's so pale, but you'll see. Now, what I want to do ideally is with each piece of chain, do a little bit there and a little bit there and leave some white to look like shine and um, I can't do it on every piece because some of them are just too small and I really could do a sharpening this but hopefully you can get the impression of what I'm doing leaving a little white gap which will make it look a bit more silvery now with this really light platinum you could use a black to give you a bit more um, definition we're going to move down to do the anchor and I'm going to make it dark here and here, leave a little bit of white on the sides. Um, just looking at what's going on here, so the same, I think I'll leave my shine in the centre of those side bits. And the same here, maybe a sort of diagonal shine. I don't know. Oh, sun's coming out, that's not ideal. So if it doesn't shine all over the desk. It's only in my eyes at the moment. That's fine. <laughs> uh, not sure about my diagonal shine idea. I'm just going to put a bit in. I'm going to grab my black just to show you because I don't think that even barely shows up. I can see it, but I know it's there. So I'm going to grab the black. I need it quite sharp. And just do some touches here and there just to darken a few areas and hopefully it will help it show up a little bit 
if you've got a darker brown um gray in your set i don't know what the bigger set has to be honest then you could use that rather than faffing around with a black but i think it it just about works there we go so that's our anchor i'm keeping it really quite simple because we've got quite a lot to do now we've got these background bits that johanna's drawn in not too sure about what i'm going to do about that yet so i'm going to ignore it <laughs> that's the best way if we ignore it it might just go away <laughs> isn't that what they say right fish actually i'm gonna be a bit more serious and think about the background because um we sort of need to think about the background color so that we don't color the fish the same color as the background now i'm thinking maybe a sort of watery color might look good and we've got a really pretty color that i've just dropped <laughs> turquoise green now i'm thinking if i do that behind the anchor now look carefully at the patterning you can see that this background here that goes behind the chain it just goes around the edge of the fish and then we've got these pieces in between so i think what i'm going to do is do this background in this color and then do these pieces in black in fact what i'm going to do this is really blunt it needs a good sharpener i haven't got my sharpener in here is i'm going to do all the background Hmm, just looking carefully. Yes, I'm going to do all the background with this colour. I'm going to go away and do that and then come back. And then you can see, if you like it, it's just going to be plain, even colouring, fairly light. Um, and I'm going to do it, yeah, in this turquoise green colour. So I'm going to do that all, go away, do it, show you, and come back and show you so you can decide if you like it. I think that's the best way. I can't just colour this forever on camera. It's going to take me a while anyway. So I shall go away and get a coffee, colour away, and uh, and come back. So I'll be back in no time at all. Hi, I am back, and here is my background completed. Um, I was going to do the anchors, all of the anchors as well around there but i haven't because it took so long to do the background i was getting a bit distracted and uh yeah i just wanted to come back and record because my boys are due home fairly soonish and i'm getting hungry for my lunch as well <laughs> to be honest so i thought i would just finish it off um some of my background is quite pale and it's a bit scruffy but you can do it however you like <laughs> to do it scruffy so let's move on and i've had to shut the blind as well the sun's coming in on the desk which was another reason i thought i'd have to hurry and then i missed my opportunity anyway um so let's carry on with this corner where we did this anchor and i'm thinking i'm gonna do the fish um i've sort of thought that i'd like everything to be its own sort of color so it sort of stands out of its own in its own right so I'm thinking I quite like the fish to be orange. And I know it's really stereotyped, but I'm going to go for flame and do orange fish. It's just how I like to colour fish. I like them to be orange. And um, I was sort of thinking there wasn't anything else in the picture that I would sort of want to colour orange either. So that's how I decided to do them. And it's, I think I colour them in quite a childish way, but you can judge whether you like it it and want to do it this way or not so i'm doing it a bit darker around the edge mr fish and a bit lighter in the middle so he looks a bit more rounded and i should do all these fish in the same way i should just do these three because it repeats and uh, just show you i'm going quite fast um because you've seen one and uh I'm going to do some of the details and the fins and the tail in a different colour. Now, normally with fish, I would do their eye. So the centre is black and the piece around the centre is grey, um, leaving a little bit white for shine to give them a little bit of um, um, life in their eyes. These eyes are so small that I'm just ignoring them all together. 
you don't have to ignore the eyes I'm just going to sharpen my next colour you can um, obviously colour them if you wish but so I brought my dowel through it does a nice sharp but um, it is a noisy one so let's do our fins and tails first so yes you don't have to um, you can also um do your fins and tails in the same colour if you want as the main fish. I like to make them a little bit different. I know it's not really very realistic, but it's a bit of fun. And then I'm just going to do a few of the details. It's not pressing too hard there in a different colour. So we're just going to do a similar thing here. So I'm going to sort of fade that to the edge of the fin a little bit. Often the fins will be the same colour, but they'll have a sort of white and be slightly see-through. That's quite difficult to do. Um, I actually saw an amazing um, tutorial for fish. Um, it was a very realistic looking fish, to be fair. I think this one is the same as this one, isn't it? Ah, but this set here are a bit different. Mm. Oh, don't want to do that. I'll do this. Um, yes, Inna's with a spoon. Um, she's got a Facebook page and uh, she's on Instagram too. But um, she's put some videos up and one is a tutorial lately. She's just done one with a, a fish. Oh, it looks amazing. Um, so let's just look at these fish. These are different. I would do exactly the same thing though. I would ignore these scales and all these details. Just maybe colour in that bit a bit darker and do the body you know the fin there maybe a bit darker and maybe these lines but keep the body the same you know it's uh, I'm just going to keep it really simple I think that keeps it fun right so that's our fish let's just pop those pencils back now I'm not really sure what color to do these little circular things here what are they oh we've got to do these these bits in between I'm thinking these are um rock and I want to colour them black so it sounds a bit extreme but that's how I'm going to do it so take the black and what I'm going to do is not press too hard go around the edge with a darker amount like that and then just scumble it gently little round and round movement nice and light towards the middle so that it sort of fades you might have to uh just darken up the edge a bit more to emphasize the lighter middle like that so I'm going to do all of those like that it's a bit messy I can probably make it a bit tidier especially if I spend a bit more time on it that is okay. so I'm going to do each of all of those the same I'm not going to show you any more I will do those in my own time um, so these circles I was thinking are they rocks are they gemstones what are they? Hmm. I'm looking at my colours as well while I think. I'm thinking maybe we will do them. I see, I was thinking maybe a light brown, but then we've got this rope, which I quite like to do in a light brown or a sort of yellow. Hmm. Maybe we'll, we could do them dark brown. They're, like they're dark brown rocks I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to use this this is the natural brown now if you've got the 72 set you will have a much bigger range of browns than I've got I've only got natural brown raisin and whatever that is burnt sienna which is I'm going to use for a rope so use something different um if you've got it I um I was looking actually at what you've got. You've got some really nice um greys. So for your anchor, you have to go for the light platinum. I think that's enough of those. I'm just blocking them in. I'm not doing anything fancy. Um there was a slate grey, I think. Looked quite good. It's quite hard to tell from the picture what they were like because I wasn't sure. I'm just gonna sharpen my burnt sienna for the rope. Um, I wasn't sure how grey or blue they were. You know, I think all brown, a bluey grey colour would be much better than a brown. Um, burnt sienna for the rope. Now, on my... If I had a bit more space, I would do more than this. But I think... Just 
let me see you can see I might just try and make it slightly darker on each edge like that and just leave it like that because it's so small okay I don't even know if that shows if it was even worth the effort who knows right let's move on to our flags now I rather like red and blue stripes that's what I'm going to do and it's going to be really straightforward use the scarlet and uh, just do every other one like that in the scarlet and the same on this one now I'm not going to show you how to do this the rest of these anchors we've done it already it's just the same so I'm not going to re-show you it's boring um, I'm going to use the darkest blue I've got which is called denim it's getting a bit short but it reminds me of beach huts and things like that this sort of colour I think it's rather fun so no I'm not going to show you the anchor I'm getting too hungry <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry, it's only half past 11 so hungry it's distracting me I nearly got grabbed a snack and then I thought no 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 it's too close to lunchtime right so let's have a look at the shell now shells I often do pink I think I might do that this time I've got a really nice um, blush pink as well as a salmon but I think this will show up a little bit more um, you could do something fancy and try and do a tortoise, tortoise shell or something, but really that's too complicated for me on this little page. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker at the bottom and either side of there and sort of fade it towards the middle if I can, like that. And that's it, really straightforward, just looks like, hopefully it looks a little bit shiny. Now we have this line which is going all the way around. It's cut off in several places. I'm going to ignore that at the minute. I think I know what I'm going to do with it, but I just need to think about what's going on here. Now I've made a decision with all the greenery, the stems and the flowers. I've missed a bit of background there, that's okay. I'm going to use this um, green. Oops, this is the basil. I think this bluey green and dark green is going to work best. I need to sharpen it, obviously, and then just do all of these stems. Now, the background is I've coloured over quite a lot of the leaf work by mistake. Here, I've completely forgotten to do it. And I think with this dark green, it will just cover that up. So that's sort of part of the reason. Also, I think it's it matches as well because I've got this sort of... Um, foliage which is more of an olive and then I've got a really sort of middle mid green which is can be quite useful the grass green but I just I'm not feeling it let's just put it that way so I'm going to use the basil for all of the greenery and I'm just going to block it all in because it's small apart from these flowers here and these leaves here which I will just do in my usual way where I put down a few more layers at the bottom like that and then just fade towards the tip. Now, if you've got a bigger range of um, of chroma flows, you might want to use a bigger range of colour, but I'm just not going to. It's also a lot much easier. So maybe I'm being lazy, but it's just easy. Now, we've got our flowers, and I think we've used a big range of colour. I think it would be rather nice to do the flowers in purple I've only got a lilac I think there was a violet in the set which I've used up so I'm going to use the lilac and I should just pop it down also, I also think the lilac goes really nicely with the um, basil um, they work well together I'm going to try and make the middle a little bit darker like that but again quite uh, quite lazy but because it's small now, last thing, we have the line. I've decided what I'm doing with that now. I'm going to do it in blue. Um, now, I have this lighter blue, which is just called blue, which is more of a mid-blue, which is quite different to the blue we used here on our flag. So I'm going to use that on there, like that, all the way around, just really solid. Now, if you fancied it, 
you could do it black you could do it with a gold or silver pen something like that to make it really stand out but i feel that i just want to block it in like that i'm quite happy with it not being really um bright it will stand out a bit from this background but i don't want it to really jump out like be black pen or anything like that but you might want to make that sort of border it's up to you so lastly we have our stones now hidden among our stones we have some gems i'm not sure whether to color them or ignore them i haven't really decided and i'm thinking that i might i was thinking to make these stones quite light in this sort of golden sun color but i think it'll look a little bit weird or are they are they coral i've got no idea um i think it needs to be browner so i think oh yeah i'm really tempted to use the same color uh, let's go try and grab it as i did for these here and use this dark um natural brown i think that might be what i'm going to do um you do have options obviously if you think they're bits of coral then they could be any color really um but i think that's going to work so what i am going to do is go away and finish all that in the colors that i've started and uh, then i should be able to show you a final picture at the end of the video of it all completed and you can decide whether you agree with these color choices whether you think that's a bit boring these gemstones i think i'm going to actually color them in this we haven't used this pink um pinky purple it's called magenta maybe i'll just make all the gemstones magenta so they just jump out a little bit from the rest and there's only a few of them i think there's four so it's not too much effort now i would like to put some white on them to make them look shiny but i don't know if um this is going to bleed into the white it's one of those colors that looks like it will i'm just going to try it so just try it like that put it really thickly down grab a um oops grab a white just put the white on top and see whether it goes pink now i did this once before um and i thought it was fine and i tested it like this and then i when i actually i hadn't waited long enough and it went neon pink mm, i think that's okay I think that's fine so i'm going to sharpen this and i'll just show you how to do the gemstone it's really small oh this pencil's really small too barely fits inside my sharpener i think that's the last time i'm going to get it in there right so this one here is the gemstone you can see it's just a slightly different shape what i'm going to do is make it darker on the edge and lighten it towards the middle a bit do those fairly lightly and then i think maybe for this center just do a few sort of stripes of color so it looks like it's really shiny then i'm going to do a couple of the brown um these near it so you can just see the impact so i think with these i'm going to do them darker at the bottom and fade towards the top i'm finding that a bit tricky because i feel like i'm doing them upside down i don't know why <laughs> like that and then with my white hmm. oops does it even need white i think where i've left that white it actually looks shiny enough i don't think i'm going to add any white i think i'm going to leave it so that's how i'm going to be coloring the rest of the page um yeah so that's me done with my demo and yeah hold on to the end and there'll be a still picture of the completed page if i ever finish it <laughs> i will i'll finish it this afternoon so uh, i'll get it done before the video goes up for you so that's that so thank you for watching i hope that was okay sometimes i feel like when i do bitty bits it's, it's not quite so 
watchable but I think it means that you can if you want to copy it you can go away and you know how to do every bit so that's the sort of my idea really behind it so uh, anyway and I don't want to color the whole thing because it's so much of the same so, so I hope that's okay for you and as I say I will finish it and you'll see a still at the end so hang on to the end listen to my waffle no I shan't I shan't go on much longer um yes yeah, so hold on to the end and you'll see it but thank you for watching have a really really lovely day and happy coloring